Hi, I just want to do this little um, video. Um, it's a little project that I put together. It's um, for ESP8266 node MCU. Um, it's to do a no IP update of your um, public IP address. Um, for anyone who does uh, home automation, you will be very interested in this. In the past, I've used um, computers or mobile phones that are constantly charging to, to do this job. Um, and uh, I don't like the idea of um, the, um, the ch it being on charge all the time. So anyway, so um, what I'm showing you here is um, a little project I put together with the, the node MCU. Um, these are all the components that you will need. Um, this and just I put it in this little project box and, and this is the unit here. Um, I just put a reset button on the top to just show you. So, so it shows my local IP address and um, then it shows my public IP address. It also updates um, or sends a trigger to IFTTT um, which then sends me a message via messenger so I know when the IP address has been updated so I'll just do a reset here and you might even hear the um, it send the message once it updates no it, it just I just heard it update through um, um, IFTTT so it's just sent me a message via messenger Facebook messenger that it's updated um, anyway so so what, what wasn't a great deal of components to put it all together it's very simple um, one of the other things that I do show is uh, at the moment I'm running it through the um, from the computer so it's running through the um, program port to power it which is not a good idea because it the I don't know if you can see it, but the screen tends to flicker and it's a little unstable. Um, so I've added another um, um, power-only port to it, which is um, which is just done with one of these things here. Anyway, so the, um, to um, get some more information on how to how to do this project, I've set up a website. So if you head off over to um, one of these here, so these addresses here, both of these are my domain and uh, you, you'll come across to uh, eventually get to a page here so here we have um, the instructions on how to uh, build the unit and also um, I've done the, all the programming here and down the bottom there is a scan program that you'll need once you um, get the LCD um, connected to a port that you'll need anyway so th so that's it um just if you want to head over to that web address and you'll um find out more about it okay um bye for now